of red. I take. Oh, that's going to explode on me. Okay. Apple cider. This apple cider jug is the, the date on this says October 22nd. Today's December 13th, 12th, 11th. So this is a, got a little, little puffy here. Got a little fermented, even though it's been in the refrigerator. So I'm going to pour that fermented apple cider. You can use regular apple cider, fermented apple cider, whatever. As long as it's apple cider, because the <clears throat> when it cooks, it's going to kill the uh, um, alcohol anyway. So with these, just nice apple cider, and I put it in the microwave. Two minutes. Two minutes. While I'm doing that, I can put that one in too. This is warm water, baby bath temperature, about maybe uh, three quarters of a cup. Take my yeast, my lovely yeast. Buy it by the two pound packages at BJ's Warehouse. <clears throat> it lasts for a good five years in the freezer and in the refrigerator, a good couple of years. So take some and put about, yeah, about a tablespoon and a half, maybe. And back in here. We'll be sharing this yeast with both bowls. <coughs> a little whisk. Whisk it up. Got to dissolve the yeast. You don't put the yeast directly in the uh, apple cider because the apple cider will, uh, it won't dissolve. So you have to have the yeast always done separately in warm water. Looks like it's dissolving pretty good. Just a warm enough. Now a little fizzy too. You can see how fizzy that is because of the apple. You take half the yeast water. Whoa! Whew. <laughs> that yeast likes this one. Woo! Must be the alcohol in that. Whoa, never had that happen before. Okay. Dad's gonna love this bread. Okay. So with that. Hope it's not killing the yeast. Do you think the alcohol would kill the yeast? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna. I use cups today. Oh, I forgot to measure that one. All right. Let me get another bowl. And measure this out. All righty. Dang it. Okay. For the benefit of everyone, let's measure this out. Okay. Liquid cup. Okay. Here we go. Approximately one, two, okay, we got three cups, three cups of apple cider. God, I didn't want to make a mess today. Okay, three cups of apple cider plus the yeast is in there. Okay, good. Now with this, we're gonna add some wheat gluten. I don't wanna do a trip on this too. Wheat gluten, you can, I put it in these containers because I buy a lot of it. You can buy it at the co-op, it's plain old wheat gluten. One, two, big tablespoons. That aside, that's done. From here now, we take our, mix that up. Uh, this is called caraway seed powder. I buy this online. Uh, let's see how much I was going to measure today. That's right. It's going to be tough. It's going to be measuring. Uh, tablespoon. Um, that's a tablespoon. These are the seeds. These are caraway seeds. What's it say on there? Prize nuts. No, it's not. Pine nuts. No. This is caraway seeds. Here we see it's probably about oh, half a cup. Now, ooh, that smells good. Caraway seed powder, caraway seeds, apple cider, yeast, and gluten so far. Okay, now with this, we're going to add, let's see, we're going to add these. These are uh, flax seeds. 
Any other kind of seeds you got hanging around? About a handful of those. I'm crazy about those. And I had we usually use a uh, wheat bran, but I have no wheat bran, so I got oat bran. So let's oat bran. Let's do this tablespoon. There we go. Oat bran. Oat bran. Oat bran. And this is rye flour. Keep my flour is always in a sealed container to keep them nice and fresh. Rye flour. I'll actually measure this. One cup. And a half. Close to it. Good, looking good. Ooh, looking good. So far, it's very healthy. Now I'm going to add some hoey flour. How much hoey flour? Okay, let's measure this. One cup. Two cups. Good. You know, I might get, I'm going to add the rest of this, the yeast stuff here from the first batch. I won't make two batches, I'll make the one batch. I'll make sure my yeast will work. And that nice apple cider that's a little fermented. Okay. It's looking like that. And you get that off of the... Okay. Getting a little gluten-y there. Take your nice little plastic spatula. Start working it in. Six grain, six grain flour. Okay, we'll add this next. Cup. Let's measure this again. Okay. Cup, very expensive stuff. Co-op, six grains, got all different grains in it. So I could have made it myself, but okay. So this is six grain. Now you gotta have some white flour in there. Otherwise, it'll come out like a rock. No matter how much gluten you put in there, whole wheat flours and grains just don't have the consistency to make a nice loaf of bread. So what we have to do is we have to add bread flour. Lovely bread flour. Pillsbury, wonderful bread flour. Oops, measure. Okay. Cup. Working it in. I make this for Dad every two weeks. He's 94. He says it's keeping him alive. Probably the fermented apple cider. But anyway, uh, very healthy. It's about what horses would eat. Uh, very healthy. No sugar, notice that. I mean, except for what's in the apple cider. And no sugar, no salt, no shortening. You wonder, how can bread be good in that? Well, it tastes pretty darn good afterwards because I think there's enough sugar in the apple cider. Okay, we're going to put some of this on here. We're going to play with it now. We're going to roll it out. Okay. Let's pop it out there. And, ugh. Sticking to my hands. You keep adding flour as long as it doesn't stick to your hands. Yes. 
Just play with it. Nice and brown now. It's picked up all that flour, which is good. You don't want to have any white run through your rye bread. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. And just a little bit more because it's just a little sticky on my hands. Nice. I love these granite countertops. They are so good at bread. You could do this in a bowl too. You'd have to use a little thing here for turn and turn and turn it. Okay. That's it for the bread. That looks nice. Looks very nice. It smells wonderful. Put this in here. Put it in the bowl. Nice. Put a top on it. Keep the moisture in. Put it in a warming oven or near a warm place. About 80 degrees, 85 to 90 degrees. Anything over that will kill the yeast and you will have flat bread instead of raised bread. So you want to put it in a warm place till it's doubled, which is about an hour. So I'll come back in an hour and then we'll roll it out. And we'll not roll it out, we'll put it in the other pan. The pan looks like this. It's amazingly big. big. This is the bread pan. Huge. Yes. So this will go in a nice big bread pan. Nice big loaf.